So for a minute, gamers have been wondering who's gonna be the first to F up once again. Is it gonna be PlayStation? Is it gonna be Xbox? And needless to say, it was the gaming for everyone man that strike back once again, okay? Suckers are going crazy right now because we got, uh, it, people are making emergency videos right now and you're gonna see a lot of emergency videos later on tonight, later on uh, today, tomorrow as well. Because uh, people are also buying tired of people walking all over me suit. This is how I'm fighting back and you're probably wondering like why are suckers beefing once again i mean suckers gonna be suckers okay suckers always gonna beef okay that's like the first thing but simply put man if i was the president as a brown man i would make playstation and xbox online free that's my motto here like the video if you agree if they should make uh, online absolutely free for playstation and xbox uh, Sony Pony, Xbox Andy, I don't care. We also got Dreamcast guy, also known as PlayStation guy, uh, chiming in. We got our main culprit, and we also got Griffin Game. Get ready for this one, fellers. Grab your pitch and forks, roll it. Just when you think Microsoft might be kind of getting their shit together, you know, they had a decent showcase for the Xbox Game Showcase back in June. Things were starting to look up. You know, the hardcore fan base was a little excited for the first time yeah. in a long time after a very long string of bad news after bad... F for the first time in a long time. Where my Xbox Andy's at, bro? Like, I need my Sony ponies on this one. I need my Xbox Andy's immediately, bro. News. And, well, Microsoft, just a month later, decided, you know, we need to put a stop to that right now and get everybody talking doom and gloom once again because they decided today to announce that Xbox Game Pass would be getting a price increase in the very... Yeah, 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 What? What? This is like the fifth million price increase in the last two years, bro future now this is something that i actually said would probably happen a few months back i don't think this was unexpected if anyone has been following the oh, okay so everybody's trying to be a nostradamus i get it i get it current yeah. state of game pass it's kind of been hovering around the 20 to 24 million sub mark for the last several yeah. years it's kind of stagnated completely and after spending 70 billion dollars on activision blizzard there is zero <clears> percent <throat> chance that they were just going to put the games in the game pass at yeah. the current price like i think everybody expected the price increase to come but regardless it just makes yeah, the value yeah, yeah. proposition offered by Game Pass, I think less and less appealing every single time this happens, and I don't think this is going to help their stagnating numbers at all in the slightest. Now, the only reason we can turn this uh, price down once again, because, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys remember, right, like, uh, almost two years ago at this point, they tried to increase the price. In fact, they not just increased it, they doubled the price of Xbox Live. This is why I'm saying, as a brown man, online needs to be absolutely free. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree, though, but, like, but damn, bro, like, oh, Overnight, they doubled the price of Xbox Live from 60 USD per year to 120 USD per year, right? So that felt, that stung suckers like a, like a, like big time, okay? So everybody was like beefing, beefing, like suckers were making videos, everybody was uh, making emergency videos. I was there as well. Yeah, we were making emergency videos too. And ultimately, because all everybody got together, Twitter Andes, uh, uh, Reddit Detectives, Xbox Andes, uh, Sony Ponies, Nintendrons, yeah, everybody got together and ultimately, they had to reverse course and it, and they did they did reverse course and they did uh, reverted the prices after that right so so yeah like this time we really need the gamers coming together bro cuz uh, ultimately they're going to be increasing $5 uh, after uh, every 6 months by the looks of it like every 6 months uh, yeah they increased the price of game pass not long ago which was something that a lot of people saw coming but this time i mean damn bro they doing it again I guess it's because of Call of Duty. But let's go ahead and break this shit down and go through the uh -oh. very confusing new layout for all the various new Game Pass subscription tiers. Now, let's go ahead and try to make some sense of this because this gets okay. very confusing very quickly. So first off... Yeah, bro trying to... Bro is going to explain in Fortnite terms by the looks of it. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, the price will be increasing to $20 a <gasps> month or $240 a year. What is included no. with this does not change. You're going to get Xbox Live Gold. You're going to get Console Game Pass. You're gonna get PC game. I better get a BJ with this one, bro. What the hell? You gonna do two hundred and forty dollars a year? You sick is crazy. You <laughs> yo twenty dollars. Uh, it's twenty dollars a month USD. On paper, it doesn't seem too bad though. But I remember like. Like, it was $10, bro. What the hell? It was $10, bro. Okay, so $20 a month. Um, Yeah, right? But in Canadian, right? Or, I mean, Canada, so... That's gonna be almost 26, 27 bucks. And with taxes, it's gonna be easy 30. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! 
thirty dollars for a month. Holy crap! Let me know where you guys are, man, because this is this is crazy. So PC game uh, Game Pass prices increased to eleven ninety nine. Okay, so PC one is a little chill. Uh, probably not the same, right? I, Xbox Game Pass Core annual increased to seventy four. E Xbox Game Pass console will be shutter uh, shutter for new users only. I, I miss the one dollars deal, man. I I wish I could say psych right now, man, but I miss the come on gaming for everyone, <laughs> Phil Spencer. Come on, man, bring the one dollars per month trials, man. Bring them back, boo. -boo. Game Pass, and you're going to get day one releases, so $240 a year now for Game Pass Ultimate. Next up is PC Game Pass, increasing to $12 a month or $144 a year. Nothing changes on that front. You're still getting the entire PC I Game Pass library, too. as well as day one releases on Xbox Game Pass for PC. Next up, we have Xbox Game Pass Core. The annual subscription pricing is increasing from $60 to $75 a year, so a 25% increase. So even if you don't care about Game Pass at all, you're still getting dicked down to a certain degree because you're gonna have to pay more to play the games that you already paid for online so yeah even if you don't care about game pass at all you're gonna have to pay more every single year just to play online at this point so Crazy. just a nice little cherry on top here this is why i'm saying man whether you're sony pony whether you're just a normal playstation fan normal xbox fan or hardcore xbox andy right uh, a blind fan i don't care bro like like we need to come together and we need to ask for free online bro online needs to be free yes they're increasing the game pass price and i'm not necessarily i'm gonna be honest i'm not necessarily necessarily seeing a huge outrage because uh you know they did not double the prices overnight like uh we were talking about with the game uh, with the xbox live right so uh they increased it by five dollars a couple of months ago now they're doing five dollars again a couple of a couple of months later People are disappointed, sure, nobody wanna pay more. Oh, what, what, what you think? Like, yeah, like, people wanna pay more? You crazy? Yeah, if you give them the deal of $10 versus $20, I mean, like, duh, like, Sick is gonna go with $10, absolutely, $10, uh, $10 all day, every day, man. Uh, and now it's $20, so essentially they have doubled the prices, but they took, like, a, a solid year, a couple, a couple of months, right, to, to do it, instead of just doing it overnight. Because uh, if they did it overnight, I feel like that the outrage would have been insane and ultimately uh, they would have to reverse course. And, and in, a, in a way, they already have tested the waters with Xbox Live Gold in the past, right? <laughs> like they did double the prices and the gamers, they went crazy. I, I, I Yeah, if you want the prices to re reverse everybody needs to like uh, bring the outrage and only then it would come back because it's crazy the right? shit sunday but moving on from that we have xbox game pass console which is the existing console subscription to game pass which does not include online multiplayer that will yeah, no longer bruh. be available to new subscribers bruh. so if you have an existing subscription in this tier you'll be able to keep it so long as you have auto renew on but if you let that membership lapse or if you don't currently have it that will no longer be accessible to you but the price point mm. of that will remain at 10.99 a month until further notice and then on top of that they're adding a new xbox game pass standard tier which this is by far the worst value i think i've ever seen microsoft try to shove down people's throat but it's launching in september and includes xbox back catalog but doesn't include day one games it's priced at 15 dollars a month or 180 dollars per year and it includes xbox live gold but it won't include xbox cloud gaming or day one releases or Bruh. pc game pass so you're not really Bruh. saving any money here this is like the worst subscription tier i think i've seen offered by any of the main major, I guess, console manufacturers at this point. Like, that is an absolute ripoff. $15 a month, you only get the old Game Pass games, no day one releases. Yeah, you get Xbox Live Gold what? included with it. Woohoo! Like... So, uh... Ee -ee 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 pump the brakes, son. Pump the brakes, son. So that means that, uh, like, if you get that, you're not gonna get Call of Duty on it? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Yeah, so you gotta buy, like, the, the premium, like, the top-of-the-line deal, right? Yeah, okay, I see, I see. We need to get down to the homie Dreamcast guy, or my bad, PlayStation, or my bad, uh, Dream, yeah, Dreamcast guy. I said it right the first time, my bad, guess, uh, not the PlayStation guy. Yeah, I guess I you shouldn't even have to be paying for that shit anyway, because on PC, you don't have to pay for it. But yeah, just think about that. For Xbox Game Pass on PC, you get day one releases and the entire Game Pass catalog for $12 a month. But if you just so happen to be a console user, you have to pay $15 a month to get access to online multiplayer and the back catalog of Xbox games, but no new release titles on day one. So quite literally, they are charging Xbox console users an additional $8 a month Damn. to access the same- Bruh, I can go to China right now, man. I I can buy the entirety of Xbox and PlayStation Division for under two pennies, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> what are we doing here, man? Eight dollars, bro. I don't, I don't care what anybody says, but eight dollars is eight dollars. Okay, like that's a, that's expensive, bro. That's a lot of money, man. It's like eight paper, bro. It's eight paper. It's eight Washingtons, brothers. Like that's crazy. Eight dollars. That's like easy eleven dollars. And on, on that, eleven Canadian is what I mean. And that's a lot of money, man. That is crazy, bro. Like that. This is daytime robbery, fellas. Like this is daytime robbery. Never seen that happen in my entire uh, twenty-seven years of living on this uh, planet Earth, uh, on God's green Earth, uh, which is uh, which has been named by Homo sapiens as planet Earth, essentially. Essentially. So, yeah, crazy situation that we have uh, unfolding in front of our very own eyes, guys game features that PC Game Pass gets. So they are really giving Xbox owners the shaft with this update, and overall, this is not a good look. The way they structured this pricing is super confusing. There's going to be a ton of people who get Xbox Game Pass standard thinking they're going to get all the games day one because that's what the marketing material says, and they're going to be either disappointed, demanding refunds, or they're just going to be very angry overall. I just, yeah. I don't really understand. Yeah, imagine you accidentally buy that, and you think that you're going to be getting Call of Duty uh, with it, and when you buy it, and you see no Call of Duty, yeah, man, the disappointment would be be crazy but now guys we're gonna dive into the homie playstation or my bad uh dreamcast guy yeah let's get it on with it guys dreamcast it. guy here and today we're talking about xbox because they just increased the price okay. <laughs> yo my man always brings in the controller man that's crazy nothing but love though it's uh yeah i know a lot of people like uh would type angrily uh, but but I, I like the homie man. I like the homie. No love man. Nothing but love man. Nothing but love man. Of Xbox Game Pass again. They've done this multiple times now. They've made it ten dollars and then fifteen dollars and now it's up to twenty dollars a month. But yeah. additionally, they're trying to remove day one Game Pass exclusives. Yes, that's right. The entire point of Game Pass is hey, a new game comes out, it's automatically on the service. They're trying to remove that. But let's break this down because to be honest, this is so stupid. It actually doesn't make sense. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could, uh, please. I don't think I'm having a great day after hearing the price increase like that, bro. What are you talking, man? Like I don't know, bro. I I'm not having a great day after Please give that, this right? video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's see if we can get this to 2,000 likes because uh, this is so absolutely... Let's go. Yeah, 2,000 likes if you want free online, man. I, I think we should all just pump the brakes real quick and we should... Yeah, there is a, a disappointment with this one, but I think we need to up the disappointment for real, up the outrage, and we should seriously demand from PlayStation and Xbox for free online, bruh. You feel you feel I'm saying enough is enough, man. PC Master is just probably laughing. They would always be like, "Well, uh, ditch the consoles, brothers." I think they're probably right. I think it's time that we ditch uh, PlayStation and Xbox, so, man. And th listen, I got RTX 3090. Not trying to flex there, but but like I I still prefer gaming on 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 a console. I because like if I want to stream, I don't want to stream from PC because that's like you know I'm I'm putting my PC under pressure there. Uh, because if you want to game at ultra max settings and stream uh, at 1080 60 minimum, right? Yeah, that's gonna be overload, overkill for for PC, and uh, you're ultimately gonna, you know what I mean, right? Like this is why there are YouTubers, streamers that that have two different PCs, and I don't want two different PCs, son. You you feel what I'm saying? I don't. Yeah, man. It, it, right now it's extremely hot, and running this PC setup, it's like a heater. Uh, it's like you running a heater in summertime, man. That's that's yeah. So I, I don't want to do that. This is why I prefer gaming on console. It's just easy, man. It's just convenient. A lot of people, the the, the reason a lot of people buy buy consoles is because of convenience. It's because it's cheaper, and you ultimately have like a medium settings PC, right? Medium to like you know decent high settings PC, not necessarily ultra. Uh, but, but it's just convenience, man. The consoles, Xbox, PlayStation, it's just convenience, man. For the price you pay, it's not too bad right but then you add like the online uh, online uh, pay you add like game pass and all of these uh, price increases the price hikes and all that man that's that's just a whole lot of bull squash bro frustrating but here it is xbox game pass ultimate is going up to 20 dollars a month here in the united states they've also shown the pricing it's like 24 dollars a month in canada yeah, we're gonna we're gonna skip what 24 Okay, usually it would be $26, $27, but I guess they perfectly round that number up to like $24.99, $25, okay. Plus taxes. <laughs> Still gonna be like $27, $28 though. Uh, now, 
people are going to go, you don't need to get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. You could pay for the basic tier for just simple online functionality. Look, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is how you get the games. There's not a lot of Xbox exclusives, and honestly, a lot of them have not been particularly good. But if you actually want to play new Xbox games, this is the only way to do it. Now, I feel like part of the reason I'm just so incredibly frustrated is because every Xbox person for the last, like, seven years keeps saying, two separate things. Okay. Game Pass is cheaper than buying games, and Xbox okay. Game Pass is the best deal in gaming. Well, at this point, this means that you're paying $240 a year. $240 a year to get Xbox Game Pass every single month. $240 a year. Let's say you're a PlayStation gamer, or you're somebody that just plays to fund Nintendo Switch. They usually release like three or four exclusives a year. Let's let's use the example three. So if I'm buying three $70 games every year, yeah. that's full-priced games, Two that's $210. Yeah. That is cheaper than a subscription to Game Pass Ultimate. Mm. And additionally, I get to have those games forever. I can play them, I can update them, I can trade them in, I can lend them to a friend. Xbox Game Pass continues to lose games. Uh, I... <laughs> But now here's what I was gonna say, right? If you're somebody that that buys ten games a year, and if you're and if you're getting all ten of those games on Game Pass, it's still a good deal, right? Regardless of the price increase. But if you're somebody that only buys like three games a year, then yeah, you're better off just uh, paying full price for those games. And there are a lot of people that just play Fortnite, which is free to play that just play uh, GTA Online, uh, which uh, is probably not free to play, I guess. At, at one point it was, but the, the, it was like limited time only. Maybe if you got GTA Online uh, when it was free, I guess you can still play for free. Okay, I'm not to totally sure. Uh, but again, like you would need to pay for for online on both Xbox and PlayStation in order to play online, right? So there's that aspect to it as well, which we gotta get rid of. Uh, we, we gotta get rid of that, fellas. Uh, like, we need to, okay? We need to start a movement right now. As a brown man, I, I'm demanding, bro. Uh, I, I'm saying we need to, we deserve, I think gamers deserve, to play online for free, bruh. Like, come on, man. Enough is enough, man. Gamers getting dicked down left and right, uh, bruh. Like, it, it, this is way too much, man. This is a daytime robbery, you guys. So we, we gotta do that, bro. Absolutely, man. It's not having to exclusive very often. And now the price keeps going up. But wait, here's the part of it that's extra bizarre. So PC Game Pass price is going up to $12 a month. I actually think I'm gonna cancel my sub to Xbox Game Pass because this is so, this is so ridiculously expensive. I'm probably going full in on PC. Uh, Xbox Game Pass Core is now $75 a month. This is essentially, this This is just online and nothing else. It's no bells, it's no whistles, it's no- Oh crap, what? Oh, shit. Okay, so from 60 to 75, damn, yo, I was not expecting that. Holy crap, so they are also increasing the online? Man, that is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I did not understand that uh, originally, this part, right? Yeah, so from 60 to 75, so $15 increase on that one, and, and Game Pass ultimately doubled in price, uh, if you look at it, because it was $10, then they did it 15 and now it's 20 so $5 per month increase, but if you go back a year or something like that, it was $10 a month. That is insane, bro. So they doubled that. <laughs> they also increased $15 per month on that one. And, and you better believe it. Sony is probably going to do the same soon enough. Okay, so. It's just the core actual features of essentially paying $75 a month for your console to work. Now, Xbox Damn, Game Pass homie. console has just been canceled. It is shut <clears> off. <throat> so uh, people wow. who currently have it can maintain their sub, but new people cannot sign up for it. Now, this was essentially just the way to play stuff uh, online. It was like a different version of Core. Here's the part, though, okay. that's extra bizarre. A completely new tier of Xbox Game Pass that's going to be launched in September that makes it so that you cannot play new games. No day one games. Instead, it's the back catalog of Xbox only. And additionally, it does not have Xbox Cloud Gaming. Now, this to me, uh, across the board, this is absolutely stupid. And, and I think we all know why they're doing this. In, in the comments, people are talking about the fact that this is the Call of Duty effect. Yeah. Obviously, recently we had the purchase. Uh, I, yeah, I also believe that it's because of Call of Duty is coming to Game Pass. So ultimately, 
if they just keep putting Call of Duty on Game Pass, they're gonna lose a lot of money because Call of Duty, you guys gotta understand, that's like seventy dollars a year, comes out every single year, seventy USD, so hundred Canadian, uh, yeah, for us here in Canada and uh, for Australia and New Zealand are almost around the same. And if you live in different parts of the world, it's uh, yeah, you you can calculate. You probably know the prices. Let me know the prices for you in the comments. But it, the game comes out every year, and regardless of what I say, what you say about Call of Duty, whatever anybody says, right? Yeah, sick is hated, but it's always is the best-selling game. So, if they put it on Game Pass, they're gonna ultimately lose a lot of money. So, they need to make the money back. Yes, sure, it's gonna, I believe, come on Nintendo, and uh, it's gonna be full price on Nintendo. It's still gonna stay full price on PlayStation. So, they're gonna make money that way. Well, absolutely. And it's also gonna be full price on Xbox, but, 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 it's also gonna be available for Game Pass, and already they got, what, 25 million people uh, with Game Pass? So essentially, they're gonna get it for free. Of course, it's not free, but if you already have Game Pass, it's like an addition, it's like a bonus you're getting, right? You don't have to spend another $70. And a ton of people buy it, man. Call of Duty is usually number one or number two, right? At most. So if they put it on Game Pass, they're, they're gonna lose a lot of money. So I guess this is their way of coping with it, and this is their way to increase the price. So yeah, totally makes sense. Just as Activision Blizzard, that was a huge like $70 billion deal. And so Microsoft is still trying to find a way to make back that money. And yeah. their master plan is to put Call of Duty in Xbox Game Pass. They said straight Man. up, if you get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can play the new Call of Duty the day it comes out. Because after all, the whole promise of Game Pass is that every Xbox Game Studios game comes to Game Pass, right? And now technically yeah. that's what Activision is. But here's the part of that that's just uh -oh. so mind boggling to me. You would have made billions of dollars just selling copies of Call of Duty. I mean, you'll still make a decent chunk of change because it'll actually sell on PlayStation 5, whereas zero people are going to buy it on Xbox. But I feel like the bizarreness of this is that they are betting that every Xbox user is going to pay for this subscription. That the idea, I guess, is that, oh, instead of selling a bunch of copies for $70 a pop, we'll get millions of people to sign up for $20 for a Game month. Pass, yeah. This is such a, like insanely bad idea like game pass numbers they're publicly known they are flat nobody <laughs> is signing up and now jacking up the price and removing features people are going to literally cancel their sub especially because it's going to be interesting but i want to know from you do you think this is a big deal do you think it's a deal breaker or uh disappointing but you're not gonna cancel it, right? Because I'm seeing, I'm not seeing the outrage the way I saw the outrage, like I was saying, when they doubled the, the online prices, okay? But I'm finding this out real time though, they increase it by $15 a year uh, for, for the normal online as well. So I just found it out real time as well. So that is crazy, I was not, uh, uh, yeah, I did not know that before recording this video, which is just a yeah, right? Like I thought that it was just a, just a game pass price and crazy, right? Still disappointing. I, I feel like that a lot of people are disappointed, but is it a big deal to you? I want to know your thoughts on it, guys. Recently, we had a massive disaster that just went down Japan. They're trying to cancel Assassin's Creed right now. Yay! They're trying to they're trying to cancel the BBC Samurai. Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.